There are two major things to think about when it comes to website creation. There's code and there's design. And the truth is the two of those things really need to work together to make a stellar site that's not only eye-catching, but also functions correctly. So today we're talking about how to achieve both through PSD to WordPress conversion. So first things first, what the heck is PSD? PSD stands for Photoshop Design. Adobe Photoshop is the most widely used digital imaging software, and it's well known in the web design community. Most designers use Photoshop to design custom themes for their clients, and what they essentially do is make a mock-up of a WordPress site, and then they'll transfer it over into a working WordPress site once they're happy with their mock-up. So you might be wondering, why would I want a custom WordPress site anyway? Well, it's true that there are plenty of pre-made themes available, but we recommend going with custom designs when you can. It just makes more sense for most people and businesses. This is because a custom theme is going to be catered specifically to you and your needs, and it's going to have your business goals in mind. So think about it, a doctor's office and a beauty salon, they're both gonna need the functionality to be able to book appointments from their website, but the look and feel of that site is going to be completely different. Same thing for a sports writer and a fashion writer. They both want to regularly publish blogs, but again, the design and some of the functionality is going to be a little bit different. So it's important to work with somebody who knows what your goals are, knows what you're gonna be using the site for so that they can create something specifically for you. So after creating that initial mock-up of your site, the designer is gonna to need to take that PSD or Photoshop design and actually place it into a working WordPress website. This is done using a few different steps. The first step is slicing the design. So essentially what this means is that they're going to need to take different elements of that mock-up and of that PSD, cut them out and save them accordingly. They'll wanna make sure to name them correctly so they know where each element is gonna go on the working site. And then they'll start placing those sliced elements into WordPress. Finally, after optimizing the file structure and adding WordPress tags, they'll then just add functionality and continue to test the site to make sure that all of the elements are working together correctly and that the PSD to WordPress conversion was successful and that everything's functioning correctly. So that's it. That's what it means to convert PSD to WordPress. Don't forget that you can visit us over at Seahawk Media to learn more and we'll see you in our next video.